It's time to play more games than you think on your Steam Deck. Let's tell you how right now. When Valve decided to create the Steam Deck, their goal was to get as many games compatible as absolutely possible. While all games in the Steam Store are not compatible, there are a lot that are. But today, we're gonna focus on the ones that Valve hasn't certified as Steam Deck compatible. Now, we fully understand the certification process a game goes through for Valve to certify it. They have a reputation to uphold, and they put each game through rigorous testing to make sure that the games run the same on the deck as they do on your desktop PC. Now, once they verify you're going to get a quality experience, it will get the green check mark we come to love on the deck, almost like that old old school Nintendo seal of quality. Does anybody, does anybody remember that bad boy? There are over 2,500 games that are certified as verified to run by Valve. But what about those games that aren't actually certified by Valve? Does that mean we're out of luck? Well, the answer is actually no. Now here's the deal. There's actually a lot of Linux gamers and Proton is a huge method for them to get games to run on Linux. And what they do is they provide a rating system on how these games perform on the deck as a growing pool of suggestions. And they also do things like provide tweaks that you can try to get games to work while Proton continues their development. Now, according to ProtonDB, there are over 6,600 games that are verified as playable with over 15,000 games that are recommended by at least one person. Now, if they aren't supported natively, then people go and can post on if they got the game to run and the steps it actually takes. It's actually pretty awesome and a great way to crowdsource information for the benefit for the whole gaming community for both Linux and the awesome Steam Deck. Okay, well then Roby, how do I use this website? You're gonna head on over to protondb.com and click that profile icon on the upper right and log in with Steam. Boom, you're in. It's really just that easy. From here, click on that dashboard option right there at the top. See, what this will give you is the entire catalog and the games that are verified, playable, and supported in a cool looking pie chart. And who doesn't love pie charts? From here, what you can do is you can click the arrows on the left or right under category to change things to things such as like top 100 games, the top 1000 games, and all the Steam games to see what percentage of games are verified. You can even click the arrows under rating system to change to Proton DP click play that will give you different tiers. Those tiers range from the highest tier where there is like nothing but positive reports to the lowest tier where the game is pretty much completely unplayable. Okay, so let's look at a game. Let's look at Batman Arkham Knight. Love this game, absolutely fantastic game. Now the game on the deck says that it's unsupported and that Valve is continuing to work on it to get it supported. Now if you do a simple search on the game on ProtonDB, you will see that it has a medal of gold. Gold means that the game runs perfectly after some little tweaks. The site uses metal with like bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and bort. If you find a game that runs natively on it, then it will say native. Platinum being the highest and Bort being like, you know, well, it doesn't work. Anyways, back to Batman Arkham Knight. Steam says that it's unsupported and you will see from the screenshot of the game itself on the deck. But ProtonDB again gives it a gold rating. Now looking at the comments, you will see some of the tweaks people got it to run, basically capping the FPS at 30. So let's do exactly that. And then you can see the video, here it is, running perfectly fine at 30 FPS. There we go, one win, ProtonDB, and the Steam community on that one. Okay, so now let's look at another game, and this one's a little bit more complicated. Let's look at Fall Guys. Now, before you can do anything further, go to the Epic Game website and go to your account and make sure that your Steam account and Epic Games are actually linked. So the game takes a bit of tweaking to get it to run. So if you read over the comments on ProtonDB, you can see a bunch of people having to do a bunch of different things to get it to run. Now, what we found that worked, following the advice within ProtonDB, was changing the version of Proton to Experimental. Now, how you do this is you open the game in your library and navigate to the gear and press A. Once you've done that, go to properties and again, press A again. What you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate to compatibility and check the box to force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool and select Proton Experimental from the list. Now, once we did that, we were able to run Fall Guys, as you can see right here from our video. Phew, okay, that was a lot, but this proves our point. The whole point of this, and, and before we go into weeds on any other games, the point is, is that this website is here and with many of these games that you may think are unplayable, it may just take a tweak or two and we have a ton of people here on this website who are testing all these different games. So if you have a game 
that you that you like, go check out Proton DB. This is a great source to find games that you may be surprised actually work on the Steam Deck without any issue whatsoever. So we here at Robitech are super thankful for Proton DB, and we'll definitely be lending our thoughts on games and tinkering with our deck to get certain games to run. And again, we'd love to know your comments down below if there are games that you found that have worked using Proton DB. The benefit is now that you know about it and that we've spent this awesome video getting you up to speed, you now have another option to go make your Steam Deck gaming experience that much more awesome with tons of games you may not have even know worked. Oh, and if you want to know more about the Steam Deck, you should continue to check out our Steam Deck playlist that is being updated weekly to give you more information on this beloved little portable PC. Anyway guys, that is it for this video, and I'd love to know your feedback down in the comments below if videos like this are helpful for your Steam Deck journey, especially in the holiday season where a ton of you are probably going to get surprised at Christmas, and this may be one of the videos post-Christmas you're watching to get more Steam Deck awesome for your holiday, for your new holiday purchase or holiday gift. So questions like, are there any games that are down in ProtonDB that you found that you actually got to work because of this? Are there games that you wish would run and you found out both with ProtonDB and Valve that it's just a no-go and it's in the Bort category? Or were there any games that you were surprised did work and you didn't even know that there was an opportunity to get to play them? Let us know all that and more down in the comments below. Now while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification like this, like ding, 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 hey, Roby's got a new video, and you can learn more about Steam Deck, PC Build, DDR5, TVs, whatever, any tech news, um, we'd so you don't miss anything like that. Also, did you know that we have a live stream channel where we do builds and other things? Like sometimes we might play games on the Steam Deck. You should check it out. It's our big brother station, Roby Tech Live, over at youtube.com slash Roby Tech Live, or you can join us live at robytech.com, uh, twitch.tv slash Roby Tech. I don't know where robytech.com is. That is a website. You can go there as well. But point is, we stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday starting at 5 p.m. Pacific, and we'd love to have you join us. By the way, you should also follow us on all the other social medias. We're at Roby Tech absolutely every where we post fire, you know, PC builds like this, or sometimes we do Steam Tech content as well. You never know. Also, last thing, check us out, discord.gg slash Robitech. Great opportunity to talk about this with Steam Deck and so much more. We have a th over 10,000 people who hang out there on a daily basis and love to chat about tech, and who knows, you might make a friend. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.